Welcome to Library Calling. I don't know about all of you library media specialists out there in the public school system, but for us, it's this time of year. Let me show you what I mean. It's inventory time. And right now, I have accounted for 6,854 items and I've got 13,742 more items to scan. That's right folks, I said 13,742 more items to scan. That's a lot of work. Let me show you how we do it. Last year, I'm looking at my report on the computer. Last year, out of all the items that we had, there were only 18 items that I couldn't account for and they had to be marked as lost. And the year before, I had 27. So I did better last year. Maybe this year I can do even better. So we have these extra book trucks is what we call them that we wheel over to the shelf like this. So pretend you're a book on the book truck and this is the view that you get, okay? take the books off the shelf and then put them on the book truck and while they're on the book truck we clean the shelves really good with some cleaner and dust them or whatever they need and then we roll the book truck back over to the circulation desk okay so while they're over here then we read them and I don't mean take the book off the shelf and read it we read the spines and we put them in order and uh, make sure that they're all in good, good shape for what we have. And then we use our scanners for the computer and we scan them all in in inventory. And then we repeat the process by rolling the cart back over, putting them back on the shelf and then getting a new set of books to scan. We don't just um, inventory books off the shelf. We have equipment that we have to uh, inventory, like VCRs, televisions, carts, overhead projectors, even a record player. What if somebody had a record they wanted to play? We have to keep stuff like that. Uh, so for when you can't get the, the items in here or whatever, we have a handheld scanner. Now the handheld scanner is hooked up to Wi-Fi where we scan it and it immediately goes into our inventory, but it doesn't work very well right now. It's too slow, you scan something and you have to wait and wait and wait. But there is an option where you just scan it and it stores it into the device and then you just upload from the device into your um, library inventory and that's how we do it. So I want to show you what one of our storage rooms looks like that we have to inventory every year. So why don't you come come with me for a walk, okay? Let's go. This is um, an equipment storage room that we have. And we have a lot of equipment, <laughs> a lot of carts, a lot of TVs. Um, and when you get all the way in here, I kind of keep it so I can make a path. Inside this cabinet, 
I had a whole bunch of DVDs and CD players, digital cameras, a bunch of craziness. All that stuff over there. All this stuff has to be inventoried. Let me set you down right here. And so that little, can you see me? <laughs> that little handheld scanner that I have comes in handy when I have to leave the library and I can't actually go to the circulation desk and scan. So that handheld scanner really helps. Um, I just scan it, scan it, scan it, and then take it back to the computer and upload it into inventory. So that's really helpful. So anyway, that's all for today. I know it wasn't very exciting or anything, but inventory is what we do here. And that's the reason for this vlog is to try to share what goes on in our library. So anyway, it's a valuable, um, you know, activity inventory because the um, books are expensive. And if I've got, you know, as many, whatever, what was that number? 13,000, number 13,000, something. If I've got that many to go and I have like 20,000, let's say, items, those, that's a lot of money that I have to help to be responsible for and make sure that, that they don't get, you know, flushed down the toilet. Sorry. That happens. It does. Things fall in the toilet. Our books do. Anyway, that was random. Sorry. But anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know, you know, how goofy I am and whether or not straight hair is okay. Because I don't do straight hair very often. And I'm very self-conscious of my straight hair today. Anyway, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.